And even worse, as we've seen, the vast majority of that performance is not utilized. Sit there, idle. What we are doing essentially is using a thousand dollar chips for a ten dollar job. Huge amount of inefficiencies. So the question here is why don't people ditch Nvidia? And why are 40% of Nvidia's GPUs still used only for inference? Well, despite being very poorly optimized for inference, Nvidia's GPUs are used because they do dominate the developer ecosystem. And even very inefficient inference is still much, much easier to deploy on Nvidia. And also the vast majority of engineers are all trained on Nvidia's. And this is the first reason. The second reason is that once you buy all of these these GPUs for training because you can use them for inference well you might as well just do it so companies once they use the GPUs for training since they have them there they start using them also for inference they are already deployed so they reuse them so it seems like Nvidia kind of have a big grasp on inference as well Jensen Huang also mentioned that inference is a big big opportunity for Nvidia and is that true and given the fact that GPUs are so bad and inefficient for inference is he right? Well, actually, he kind of is because the thing about the GPUs is that they are there. They are available. You can buy them and you can use them for inference right now. Whereas the alternatives to GPUs, probably TPUs are the best uh, state of the art uh, in the moment for inference, they are really not on the market yet. Either you can uh, rent them or if you can buy them, they are super, super expensive. So it really doesn't make a lot of sense. Even uh, Cerebras, they are very, very good for inference but they are hugely expensive. So yes, it does seem that Nvidia can win also inference. 